Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Grisantium here in Victoria 2. We are in Great War number 3. We've been in all the Great Wars so far. The only sad part is we only have enough infamy to take one piece of land, and I really am not sure if we should even take anything at all. It might make more sense to uh, just flip Suez back to Egypt. Because it's Egypt's land, right? They have the core. Britain has no core there. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We just took Egypt out of Britain's sphere. Take a look at our sphere now. You like that? Haha, <laughs> beautiful. And Siam's about to be seared as well. And this is the war view. Let's look at it from the enemy's side. Oh right, Guangxi's on our team. Forgot about Guangxi. Sup, dude? Guy's got uh, military tech seven. He's pretty garbage. Take lands for a nice border. Well, we're not at war with the Ottomans. We're not at war with the Ottomans, so we can't really do anything about a nice border over there. We could take this state up here, the state of Algiers. Does France have any industry there? Uh, twenty-nine industry there. France has very little industry. Well, I take that back. He's got almost as much as we do, but he doesn't have it concentrated in any particular states. Although Brittany has the most industry out of all of his lands, and Normandy has the second most. So this coast up here might be nice to take. Britain itself has, let's see, lowlands, which is southern Scotland, also eastern counties, and northeast England. Eastern counties is this. Northeast England is this. And Lowlands is this. So no matter what we do, it wouldn't be very good borders. Uh, Eastern counties might be the nicest one. And that would isolate his capital. So that'd be kind of cool. Maybe we'll do that. Just isolate his capital. And I really don't want to take Lowlands. I'm thinking maybe at some point we might want to make him release Scotland as independent nation. Like that. How much would that cost? Liberate country Scotland. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, Canada. Liberate Canada. 100 war score for Canada. 3.6 infamy. So it's the same as taking... To liberate a whole nation is the same as taking one state for ourselves. So it might make sense to just liberate, like, Scotland or something. 44 war score. Uh, liberate Ireland. 72 war score for Ireland. South Africa. Oh, wow. Where are South African cores? Oh, they seem to be everywhere. No, they're not. Up to there. Okay. Yeah, we could make him liberate South Africa. That might be fun. Hmm. Interesting. Liberate India. That would be a lot of land. Alright, so let's fight our war. Oh my god, we're losing thousands of guys there. Wow, even though we're two techs ahead of this guy, and we have gas attack, and he doesn't have gas defense, he's still fighting really well against us. Let's 
It's a good thing I, I might want to bring even more troops up there, maybe. Not sure my navy can be trusted to get up there, though. We'll see. Can you hurry up, please? I don't want him to finish sieging me. Uh-oh. Fucking... Get out of Serbia, you son of a bitch. Ugh. Portugal looks to be good. Britain gets a lot of influence in Portugal, because you can see he has spent 103,000 pounds there. So he gets bonus influence. Uh, I think we can get out of Spain now. Egypt looks... Well, Egypt's pretty contested right now. Siam, he's leaving to us. So that's good. He's leaving Siam alone. Oh my goodness. Okay, now these are farmers. Okay, good. So there's a professional army, but he is slowly getting whittled down to just farmers up there. But we're going to have to fight a few more tough battles. And I think this, I think he's going to finish Bizerte first. Yeah, because we don't have a fort. That's okay. Not about the same time, actually. Take him out. And then come back and unsiege that. Wow, even on 3 speed, it feels like it's a little too fast. No, speed 2. Huh, I'm the only one taking losses. That's not good. Why is he not taking losses? Now no one's taking losses. What the fuck was that shit? Uh, that army needs to die. But, let's replenish a little bit. Oh, Germany has invaded. Lovely. Germany just walked across from Dunkirk. Yeah, you can walk over there for whatever fucking reason you can walk. Italy's invading southern France. That's fine. Has anyone made any demands yet? No, we're at 30% we're at war score already, and no one has made any demands at all. Wow. Uh, Britain, are you interested in, like, a white piece? No. Britain will not even take a white piece. That's amazing. Oh, he has a, he has a good general? Okay, well. It's fine. He can have the good general if he wants. I do need to stop this guy from finishing in uh, uh, Leicester. I guess it's pronounced Leicester. we got to stop him from sieging that because uh, we don't want to have our factories shut down. That would be terrible. Ah, Sweden has found the third way. There we go. Finally. Strength through unity. The government has grown weak. We need a party who can unite us, who can give us a strong national identity, and who will not be fooled by capitalism's sweet and poisonous voice. The third way, or fascist as it might be called, are looking for a seat in the upper house. And I think now that means we can support fascists finally. Nope, we still can't. Apparently there's no party that's fascist yet. Yeah, we don't have any fascist parties yet. So we, even though they've been discovered, we don't have a party yet, so it doesn't work. Okay. One step at a time. On, kill them flat. Now nah, looks like they're gonna get Leicester. Damn it! Germany wants champagne from France. Okay, that's nice. Nice to know that Germany wants stuff.
I really wish I could bring more troops up here. Look at those losses. He lost 6,300 that day. Wow. Oh, France has rebels. French communists. Lovely. How's the war going? 50? Oh my god, we're already at 56%. We've already maxed our war score for battles. Amazing. I think liberating India might be fun. I don't think I've ever done this before. Now, in some mods, you can quote-unquote dismantle empire. Which would be amazing, but I don't have any mods. So, why don't we go ahead and make them release India? We'll get... We'll get 3.5 prestige if we release India. We'll lose 217 prestige if we don't release India. That's kind of amusing. All right, so let's go for releasing India. That sounds fun. That'll certainly reduce his uh, military power base. God, there's 86,000 peasants up there. Oh, he offers a white piece! No, you can't have white piece, you dumbass. What a stupid peace offer. Can we have white piece? We're losing by 56%. Can we have white piece? Yeah, we could invade... Oh, we don't need to. Spain's already down here invading Africa for us. Fantastic. And I assume Guangxi is trying to invade India? Yeah. Look at Guangxi. He's like, I'm helping. No, you're not. You're an idiot. <laughs> but you're my f my special little idiot friend. I love you, Guangxi, so much. Oh, wow. China's almost a great power. How's your tech, China? Tech 3. He has not teched up at all. And wow, Japan has leapfrogged into number 4. And it's all industry score. Wow. Nice. Let's see how much we reinforce here. Oh, wow. Reinforced 20,000. I love it. You can pull out and heal up a bit. Oh, he'll offer white peace again. No, you can't have white peace, you son of a bitch. Why would I want white peace? Alright, there goes Lincoln. That's fine. Now, did that shut down any of our factories? I hope not. Midlands. Nope. 
Oh, I need to upgrade these factories. Holy shit. I've been neglecting the factories. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, factories. Here, I'll make it better, okay? I'll kiss the boo-boo. I will kiss the boo-boo to make it better. Okay? It's all good. In the what fucking clipper factory? Get that thing out of here. Who the hell builds clippers? It's 1905. If you're going to build a naval production plant, build a steamer plant. What the fuck? Who builds clippers in 1905? The capitalist like, oh, it's so... Uh, Jimmy said it'd be a good idea. Dude, you can't blame Jimmy. You're the one who funded the project. Jimmy said... Fuck Jimmy, man. You should not have built a clipper shipyard in 1905. You idiot. So just sieging one province did not shut down our factories. Good. Italy wants Volta. So Italy wants some French colonies. That's fine. I am not against Italy getting some French colonies. Now he wants white peace. We're at 59% war score and he wants white peace. You're fucking kidding me. Oh, Germany's going to unseach some stuff for us. Great. Clippers are still needed for maintenance of our fleet. I have no clippers in my fleet. My fleet is entirely steamers. Oh, France landed troops on Cyprus. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, poor Russia. Poor, poor Russia. Man, this battle in Leicester has been going on forever. Quite literally forever. You still want white peace. What the fuck is with the AI asking for white peace at 60%? Germany's starting to siege up the capital region. And Italy is crossed over. Italy's going to help siege up Britain now. Lovely. Just like last time. battle. I want to see how many Brits died in this battle, because he reinforced it so many times. He's still asking for white peace. No. What the fuck? White peace. Stop with the white peace. God. Huh. We're at 62% and he's like, can I have white peace? No. How about now? Can I have white peace now? No. H how about now? Can I have white peace now? No. But I want white peace. Yeah, this battle's gonna be really fucking ridiculous. Hungary wants Kiev from Russia. Okay. If I could individually peace out Russia, 
I would love to give that to Austria Hungary, but I can't individually piece out anyone, so ain't gonna happen. Disloyal regiment, come on. Still, white piece. How about you stop offering me white piece? How about I have an option, a checkbox even, to auto decline white piece offers? Why not? Why do I need to keep saying no to white pieces? Is it is it there just as a mechanic to say, oh well, maybe the player will accidentally click yes on this 15th time of me asking? Like it's just a trick or something? I mean, that's just bullshit. Stop offering. Stop. Offering. Yep, there we go. The battle's winding down. 4,000. 311,000 Brits died in that battle. 311,000. No one survived. 54 war score for one battle. There you go. It was a big battle. All right, what do we got here? Uh, 116, 124. Thinking we might want to take Algiers from France at some point. It would look nice to have the rest of the coast of Africa there. Italy wants Provence from France, and if I could individually piece out France, I would give you Provence. But I cannot individually piece out France. Very sorry. Hmm, Dreadnought, but we can't build those yet. We don't have the right stuff. The right stuff. Ah, electrical power generation. Yes. Do that, and then we'll get our upgraded railroads. He will do a white piece. He won't even accept a 19 war score peace deal. Not even 19 war score. What about Volta? He won't even accept 10 war score. We're at 66% war score. He won't even take 10%. I just killed 313, 310,000 of his troops, and he won't accept any anything at all. Just a white piece. He's like, how about white piece? I could go for some white piece about now. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the white piece. Are you feeling the white piece? I'm feeling it. Goddamn Britain. <laughs> what is your problem, dude? Still, he's offering white piece. I don't want to see your white piece offers. Just don't offer them. I'm going to put the speed back up. I think we're okay on speed three. All right. Oh, London has fallen to Germany. Good job, Germany. Oh, he will take 10% now. Okay. It doesn't matter. We have ticking war score. And as the war score ticks, uh, we'll eventually get 100% without even sieging anything. So, there's no, worry. there's no worry. Am I feeling it? Yeah, I'm feeling it. What are we playing? Yeah, this is indeed Hello Kitty Online. Oh, look, it's a white piece offer. No. No white piece for you. Hmm. Oh look, white piece offer. Stop offering white piece. Son of a bitch.
How goes the invasion of, of Russia? <laughs> it's going. Oh man, Russia. Fuck's sake, dude. Alright, so we're about to put Portugal in our sphere. That's great. Uh, let's see what we can do with Egypt. Egypt needs to... We need to kick Britain down to... Something less. So we'll work on that. Stop with the white piece, seriously. Paraguay has collapsed, okay. Alright, let's get Portugal in our sphere. Very good. Oh look, white peace offer. No. Spain wants Aquitaine from France. Lovely. And we have a new alliance with Portugal. Good. And of course, Portugal has rebels, but I don't care. They're not very threatening rebels. Oh man, look at France. It'd be nice if we could individually piece these fuckers out, but you just can't. No, I never said I don't like Dwarf Fortress. I said I don't understand Dwarf Fortress. The main problem for me is that visually it is very difficult to comprehend. Damn it. Austria keeps putting his dick into Serbia. Get out of there. We're at uh, 92 war score. Almost there. He's still... Look at this. 92 war score, he's offering white peace. 92 war score, he's offering white peace. I mean, this is insane. He will give 50%. Yeah. No, he'll give 40% war score, but not even 50. This guy is stingy as all hell. Doesn't make any sense. We gotta go... You have to get to 100% if you actually want to make any demands, which is stupid. You shouldn't be forced to get to 100% to get a 50% peace deal. But that's what the game's doing. Oh my god. Uh, France has landed troops in Guangxi. <laughs> okay, France. Burma has declared war on Siam. Damn it. Bolivia has collapsed, okay. We're going to have to join the war on Siam's side. It's too bad we couldn't get him in our sphere before that war kicked off, but I guess it's not the end of the world. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Is there any real threats in Egypt now? Not really. Decrease... Britain's opinion, there you go. Neutral, neutral. As long as they're all neutral, I'm okay with that. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred. Time for peace. There we go. India! Hello, India. What's weird, though, is all these other states in here, they are Indian cores, but they are still Brit British puppets. Except Baroda. Alright, welcome to the world, India. He is a primitive nation. Whoa. I thought he would start out civilized. He does not. Okay. So he's a primitive nation. Cool. And uh, we'll spend a little bit of influence on him, but not much. Oh, he won't take an alliance. Why not? Hmm. 
whatever. Welcome to the world, India. Absolute monarchy, just like us. And uh, that was the Third Great War. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. We got our fifth national focus point. Yeah. So let's see. Where the hell do we want to spend that? Uh, East Macedonia. We can support the fascist party. Oh my god. There's finally a fascist party? There is finally a fascist party. All right. And it does let us build factories. That's fantastic. We cannot select our party because our government form does not allow us to select fascist parties. But that's okay. Uh, we shouldn't even have to encourage fascism. But we'll do it anyway. Going to go to our most populous states. Actually, let's just... No, nah, yeah, fuck it. We don't have to encourage fascism. It'll happen on its own. We'll get a fascist rebellion. Uh, let's see. Thrace is our capital. So Thrace... Support fascism in Thrace. Uh, we'll get some rebellions in Thrace. And what we'll do is we'll move our units out of there. Move to Burgas. And... I don't know. Antalya. And turn off the collection point. And we'll make our new collection point in... Varna? Sure. Varna can be our new collection point for new troops. Uh, that way they won't be collecting in Constantinople, and if we get a rebellion there, which we hope we do, then we'll have fascist government. But we'll have to wait till next time to see what we can do. Have a good day. India.